It is possible for a class definition to be made inside another class definition. This is called a nested class or an inner class. This can be a handy way to organize your program if a class is used by only one other class. The utility class can be defined as a member of the main class. The number type class has an inner class named tester. An instance of the inner class is created with a specific number and its methods then are used to return information about that number. The main line of the outer class accepts an integer on the command line. A new object of the number type class is created and the show number method is called. The show number method here creates a new tester object. Here is the tester class definition. It's an inner class. Here is the constructor of the inner class. It requires an int that will be used as the number being tested. Now the inner class contains two methods. It has one that checks for the number being odd and another that checks for the number being prime. Here in the show number method of the outer class, the number itself is first displayed. Then a call is made to is odd and a line is printed describing whether the number is odd or even. Then a call is made to is prime and that fact is also displayed. When you run the program, it looks like this. The access of an inner class is about the same as the access permissions of a method in the same class. For example, in the same way that a method has access to the data defined in that class, an inner class has access to the data of its containing class. And you know about static methods. Just as a static method can only access static data items and other static methods, it can only access inner classes that are declared as static. There is another way to do this same thing. You can actually have an inner class inside a method if you are going to only be using that class inside that one method. Now in this version of the program, the main line is the same as it was previously. The difference is in this show number method. The first thing that happens in the method is the creation of a text window for display. The next thing is the definition of the class inside the method. This class is defined in the method which makes it a local definition and it can only be used inside this method. Here you see an instance of the class is created and its methods are called to return information about the number. The program is just like the previous one except the inner class is now inside a method. When you run it you get the same result as you would from running the previous program.